Hey there, there, Sean. There we go. All right. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Um, we are glad you're here today, and we're in for a treat today. So those of you that are with EXP, you know we've got KV Core as one of our amazing tools. And what a lot of y'all may not know is KV Core recently bought Boomtown. <clears throat> so now they're one in the same. And uh, we are fortunate to have Mr. Shannon Pyatt today. He's going to kind of teach us what he's doing with KV Core, how you can implement it in your business, start creating yourself some more leads. And Shannon is one of three coaches with Inside Real Estate. And so, um, so we are fortunate, number one, that he's at EXP. And Inside Real Estate is who owns the KV Core and the Boomtown and all, if you didn't, if you didn't know that. Um, and so he's one of three coaches for them. So again, we're fortunate he's at EXP. We're super grateful, Shannon, that you're willing to jump on and train with our Freedom Team members today. And um, we are going to just turn it over to you so they can get as much value as possible. Wonderful. Thank you so much. All right. I appreciate you guys having me here. Uh, oh my gosh, you know, you know, you know, thank you, uh, you know, Jeff and, uh, you know, Kathy and Sean, you know, I really, really appreciate you guys for just bringing me in here. Um, you guys are an amazing uh, group of people and I just want to bring as much value as possible. So what I want to start off with is a few questions. Um, like, like Kathy said, I am one of three uh, certified um, KV Core peer coaches. Um, there's, uh, that basically means that KV Core has put their stamp of approval on us. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going next week to speak on stage at the KV Core National Convention. Um, so I'll be doing that next week. So I'll have to put on something other than a t-shirt, right? <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, yeah. So anyway, it, it should, it should be good. It's called uh, unite. It's going to be down in Charleston, South Carolina. So uh, they got me coming down to speak for that. So anyway, Let's start off with a few questions here um, because I want to get an idea of where everybody's at, first of all, okay? So if you have logged into your KV Core at least one time in the last seven days, type me into the chat, please. If you haven't, be honest, say no. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Jeff, Kathy, you guys are, te are teaching them well. Look at all these me's right there. Wow. Sean, I knew you wouldn't. <laughs> you don't count, brother. You don't count on that one. <laughs> um, no, seriously. Um, all right, cool. So we got just a few that say, no, most of them are me. That's good. Most of them have actually logged in, in the last seven days. That's fantastic. So I tell everybody this. Glenn Sanford has given us the keys to a Ferrari. OK, but ninety nine point nine percent of us drive a Fiat. OK, so here's the thing, guys, if you want to kick it into gear, you want to really do something with your lead generation, you want to really do something with your lead conversion, then you need to understand this platform, even if even if you don't want to do any sales at all. And maybe your main focus is agent attraction, right? Learn KV Core up one side and down the other. Now, people ask me all the time, why in the world would I do that? I'm, I'm, I'm only using it for agent attraction. I'm not using it to sell anything. I'm not, I'm not trying to sell. Here's the thing. You're going to be meeting with agents, okay? And when you meet with those agents, they're going to ask you about the tools that eXp offers. One of the main tools that eXp offers is KV Core, okay? This is $600 a month, guys, if you're not with EXP, 600 bucks a month, okay? So they're giving this to you within your $85 that you're that you're being uh, paid there, that you're paying every month. Now, keep that in mind. When you're meeting with an agent, you can actually sit down with that agent and say, listen, let me explain to you how to generate leads, right? Let me explain to you how to convert those leads, Right. One of my favorite things, and I don't want to make this about agent attraction, but I think this is really important because I do a lot of agent attraction myself. And one of the things that I have done, one of the questions that I always ask people is, OK, when I'm sitting down with them, I say, listen, you know, if I could show you, let me ask you a question. How, how much money do you want to make this year or next, next year? And they'll say it's, it's always one hundred thousand dollars, always one hundred thousand dollars, always six figures, no matter what. Right. And so 
when I sit down with them, I say, listen, if if I could show you a way to generate leads for free, would it be worth having a conversation? And they'll usually say, yeah, okay, yeah, we can, we, we can do that. I'll say, okay, we, I just got a couple of questions for you and then I'll let you go. <clears throat> Question number one is this, what's the average home price in your area? And they'll tell me $300,000, let's say, for example. I'll say, okay, what's the average commission you're getting? Yeah, usually 3%. So somewhere in that, of course, now that may change. Don't listen, not, whole other story. Don't even go there. Anyway, um, but uh, but needless to say, I'll say, okay, let's, let's just assume that you make $10,000 a sale. I know that's a little high, but let's just assume that because I went to public school and I'm not that smart, right? So anyway, <laughs> what I would do is basically say to them, okay, listen, if you make $10,000 a sale and you want to make $100,000, if I can show you a way that you could generate 50 to 60 leads every single month for pennies on the dollar, I'm talking maybe 50 to 100 bucks a month in social media ads. If I could show you a way to generate that many leads with that little bit of money, do you think you could close, let's say, a couple of those a month? And of course, they always go, oh, I could close five of them a month or six of them a month or whatever it may be, right? And I say, okay, well, let's, let's just be modest here for a minute. Let's just say you can only close two homes a month. That's $20,000 a month coming in in commissions times 12 is $240,000 that I've helped you put in your bank account in one year. Is it worth a 30 minute conversation to learn more about what EXP is all about. Right. <clears throat> and that alone right there. Now, again, I'm not trying to make this about agent attraction, but I want people to understand KB core is not just to learn to generate leads. If you're going to do anything inside of EXP, you need to know how to use this system because literally it's the best one out there. It really is. And I'm not just saying that because I'm certified and all this different stuff. I've played around with all of them. Boomtown is owned by KB Core or Inside Real Estate, right? So Boomtown, all you Boomtown people that go, oh, I love Boomtown, I love Boomtown. Well, guess what? It's the same company, okay? Um, that happened recently. That merger happened recently. Another thing is I hear people say all the time, oh, follow-up boss, right? Follow-up boss, love follow-up boss. Let's talk about follow-up boss for just a second. Does anybody here, type in the chat, does anybody here know who owns follow-up boss? Anyone? Bingo! Trisha and Delisa. Yep, you're right. Zillow. Zillow just recently purchased them. Um, so keep this in mind. Okay. I don't know about you guys and maybe you pay Zillow every month. And if you do, God bless you, you're, you know, whatever. Right. But I will say this, I believe they're the enemy of realtors. Okay. I just personally do. That's my personal opinion of them, but I, I felt that way for years. Um, and what I will tell you about Zillow is that any chance they get to dig into a realtor's pocket, they're going to. Okay. That's just the way it is. So you don't think them having control of your leads is a bad idea? Might want to rethink that one. Okay, that's just my personal opinion on it. Now, other people may have different opinions, and that's fine. Not here to not here to fight over Zillow. I'm just telling you that who owns Follow Up Boss? So all of your leads would be owned by Zillow, just so you know. Okay, so KV Core is definitely by far, in my opinion, one of the safest platforms out there. Now, the last question I'm going to ask you, and then we're going to dive in and start showing you how to implement this, how to start generating some leads right away, how to start, you know, converting those leads, things of that nature. Uh, but the the last question um, that that I need to know is, you know, on a scale of one to ten, ten being it's fantastic, you you've got it mastered. One being you need a lot of help. Type in the chat there. Where are you guys at in your uh, journey with KB Core? What does that look like? A five, a one, a six, a five, a one, a one, a one, a one point five, 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 two, five, seven. All right. All right. Rick's up there. Seven. Fantastic. I'm, maybe I'll let you teach, Rich. Rick. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's dive on in. Let's dive on in. Okay, so I just wanted to get an idea, kind of get a gauge of where everybody's at. Um, and I won't be able to see the chat. So, uh, Kathy, can you help me monitor the chat? Is that possible? Um, sure. Well, I'm showing my screen here. Okay, can everybody see my screen? Yeah. Okay, 
Perfect. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we're going to start over here on the right-hand side. This is really important, I think. I want to know in the chat real quick, I said this last question, I lied. Um, what? Who here has their own smart number? Meaning you pay KV Core every single month, $27 a month, to have your own smart number. Who here has that? And Kathy, if you can kind of give me a synopsis of what they're typing in the chat, that'd be great. Kathy's muted. Oh, okay. There, right. There's uh, four, 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 four or five. five of so them four, do. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, four or five of them do. Okay. All right. Now, the uh, the next question about that is, how many people here know why you should have your own smart number? Does anybody understand the meaning of your smart number? Because it's very, very important. Very, very important. The leads go directly to you. Ding, 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 ding. Sabrina, you got it. Jennifer, you got it. Correct. The leads go directly to you. Okay. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm not in the habit of giving away leads. Okay. Not a good idea. So here's the thing. You're going to make on average, let's just assume that your, you know, your average commission is we're going to say 3%. I know I shouldn't be saying that, but anyway, we're going to say 3% on a $500,000 transaction. That's $15,000 in your pocket. Okay. So $15,000 in your pocket. Let me ask you a question. If you were to skimp out on paying $27 per month, okay, for a program and you lost a $15,000 commission, how would you feel? Pretty painful, huh? Pretty painful. OK, so the thing that you need to understand is this, the smart number that is assigned to you when you sign up for EXP or you sign up for KB Core, whatever, it is a it is a round robin number for that particular area. OK, so, for example, let's use uh, well, K Kathy's in Nashville and it's my favorite place in the world. I own a country music radio station. So, hey, we're going to talk about Nashville. Um, so. Nashville, for example, okay, if Kathy uses the main number, and let's just say that that number is 615-555-1212, we're just going to throw that out there, okay, know that 615 real well, <laughs> I talk to people in Nashville all the time, anyway, um, so 615-555-1212, let's assume that's that's the number that, that is assigned by EXP and KB Core. Now, here's what's going to happen, if that person is a lead in your system, okay, they are automatically going to be able to talk to you, Kathy. That's not a problem. So if Larry here, for example, is a lead in your system, then when Larry messages you or you message Larry, it's going to automatically go to you or go back to Larry, right? Because it's it's smart enough, it's called a smart number, it's smart enough to know that you and Larry are connected, okay? Now, if you were to, because another thing you guys need to understand about KB Core, KB Core does everything for you, okay? Literally everything for you. It will do everything, but go on the go on the appointments and make the phone calls, okay? And we've got AI that we're working on that's going to be doing, well, you can be going on appointments, but it's going to be doing almost everything for you. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But one of the things that it does is it text messages people on your behalf, okay? So if you're, if a lead comes in, it's going to automatically start a text campaign with them, start text messaging them. Hey, we've got this property you might want to look at, all this stuff. Now, keep in mind, people are going to save your number as, for instance, Kathy Realtor, okay? Now, even if they're a lead, they may save your number as Kathy Realtor. That is the number that is assigned to you. That's at 615-555-1212. Okay. Now, no problem there. If you respond to Larry, Larry responds to you, you're going to go back and forth. That's not a problem. Let's assume that Larry, by the way, this has happened to me when I first got into using KV Core, because I didn't understand the importance of the smart number. I learned the hard way. Okay. Let's assume that Larry has a friend named Sam and Sam is selling his house. And Larry says, you know what? Hey, Kathy is the best agent on the planet. Her telephone number is 615 Five 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 one two one two. Give her a call. When Sam dials that number or text messages that number, 
it will not go to you, Kathy. Okay. It will round robin to the next available EXP agent in the Nashville area. It's very important that you understand that. Okay. So when these agents are saying you keep your leads, that's correct. You're going to keep your leads that way. Now, people ask me all the time, if I import my leads, am I going to lose my leads to someone else? No, as long as they're a, as long as they're a, in your system, then you're not going to have that problem whatsoever. Okay. Um, but now one thing that you may want to watch out for is if people use they use a different email address, but the but the same phone number, because they, they have to have different email addresses to sign up, but they can have the same phone number. Okay, so let's assume, Kathy, I'm going to use you as an example, if that's okay. Let's assume that I am in Nashville as well, and I've got Larry at LarryRocket at gmail.com, and Kathy has Larry at LarryRocket at yahoo.com. Okay, same phone number. All right, here's the problem. Whoever contacted them last is going to be the one that it responds to. So you could potentially lose that lead as well because they use a different email address to sign up. So do yourself a favor, folks. Just go get the smart number, okay? I don't make any money whatsoever if you sign up or if you don't sign up for the smart number, okay? I've got a boot camp that's a totally different story, but this part here, I make nothing off of, okay? I'm just telling you that you don't want to do what happened to me. I literally lost a $750,000 listing to this right here. Okay, very painful, very painful. So I'm telling you, make sure you do that. Now, all you have to do is click on Shop Marketplace. Once you do, scroll down and you look for, here's it at. They moved it. They moved it. They moved it. What did they do with it? Hold on. They, they changed the color. It's yellow. There it is. Personal smart number. Click on that. $27 a month. Now, here's the other thing, too. Depending upon your state, wherever you're located, check with your state broker. Do not do not say Shannon said because I'll be like, nope, I didn't. Um, check with your state broker to see if it is legal for you to be a one-party recording state, meaning that you don't have to notify anyone that you're recording the phone call but that it's admissible in court or whatever. It is here in North Carolina. We are a one-party state. We only have to let, only person that has to know that I'm recording a call, if I'm on the call with Jeff, is me, okay? And Jeff doesn't have to have any clue that I'm recording a call, okay? That's North Carolina. That's not every state, okay? So keep that in mind. Go to your state broker and say, hey, you know, what do we, what's, what's our law for recording calls, and if they say both parties need to know, you might not want to turn that feature on. But otherwise, you can turn a feature on that will record your phone calls and it will store them in that client's profile system um, so you can go back and listen to it at a later date. OK, the third reason that you're going to want that particular thing and then we're going to move on from from the smart number. The third reason is we've all been on two hour listing appointments, right? been there numerous times, go on a two hour listing appointment. We miss 15 phone calls. 13 of them are Zillow trying to sell us their latest, greatest crap, whatever that is. And two of them are leads. Okay. Now out of those 15 calls, because no one leaves phone numbers or leaves a voicemail anymore, right? We know that. So we have to call back 15 different people to find the two leads. Well, that can be a real pain in the butt, right? So if you have your own smart number, it's going to put that lead right here in your database on your dashboard, and it's going to start a text campaign with them, okay? And of course, we've got a couple of campaigns in our boot camp that we'll talk about a little bit later on as well um, that, that help you, you know, convert those leads and things of that nature. But it's going to start that campaign with them right away, okay? And you're not going to have to worry about that. You're not going to have to worry about, oh, gosh, who, who, what leads did I miss? It's going to be right there in front of you when you sit down in front of your KV Corp. All right. Now, before we move on to the next portion here, are there any questions at all on the smart number? I'll give just a minute here to see if there's any questions. Mike, do you want to ask your question? Mike Okert, you had a question there in the chat. Do you want to mute yourself and ask that? Uh, 
I'd like to ask real quick. Um, yes, I, I've noticed um, when playing around with KV Core that uh, when I did try like to submit my own lead or whatever, and it would come back with the name of this one particular person. I'll just say the last name is Santos. Um, she no longer even works for EXP and it still shows that she's trying to respond to me or, you know, even uh, when I put in my, when I was make uh, not making it rain, but the uh, boost when mm -hmm. I was doing, you know, it would, I would put in uh, just to see how boost was performing and it would come back with another realtor. Is that typical with so, KV Core? So you so, so you were putting in your email address into KV Core? Is that what you're saying? You're like signing up as a lead yourself? Is that what you're doing? I think so, yeah. Yeah, you cannot do that. Um, I don't know why. Don't ask me. I don't know why it's not been fixed, but you cannot sign up as a lead yourself. It will not allow you to do it. Hmm. Um, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I, I I have questions that I ask uh, that I ask all the time and they get put in this stack of things that they're working on. And, <laughs> you know, that's one of them that's never been addressed uh, for for at least a couple of years now that I've been bringing it up. OK, so so, so how do you stop uh, that? I mean, but how being that that same name, that's what concerns me is the same person or again entity because she doesn't work for exp anymore but well, she's always showing up as if, if, if she doesn't work, if she doesn't work for exp anymore it should not be contacting that person on her behalf because um uh, her account should have been disabled right when she right. left hmm. so it should that should not be that should not be an issue anymore but i'm talking when i talk about this i'm talking about two active agents so myself and kathy right we're both active if we were in the same area and they put in two different email addresses, then, and I don't know why they don't do that with the smart with or with their phone number. It would be nice if they would say, you know what, hey, that phone number is registered to someone already, right? That would be nice. Um, but you know what, there's a lot of things that they're working on that they're implementing uh, within their support within their uh, support team, and uh, of course, that's something that I know is on the agenda, but I don't know when they're going to get that fixed. Okay, thank you. Okay. And Sean? Sean. Or Shannon, you mean Shannon? Yes, or Shannon. Yes, yes. yes Shannon. Uh, so the question was, um, so I had uh, um, the smart social mm -hmm. set up and, you know, that automatically, you know, does text them. Um, when I purchase the smart social, does that automatically include that number? Is that all included in there? Is the smart number something totally separate it, it should be um i'll be honest with you that's kind of a newer feature that they haven't had for very long um so i haven't really had a chance to dive into smart the smart social thing uh so much um however um i will say that uh the way to check that that you can check it on your account is uh simply go over here and click on your name click on my profile Click on phone, and then you'll be able to see here, like there's the EXP Realty ones. See there? Okay. Mm -hmm. Through all agents. So they got a bunch of them here in North Carolina. See? Okay. Um, but this one here, it says Shannon Pyatt. So that means it is my specific number. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's how you can check that. Simple enough. Right. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Uh, talk about uh, getting some, get, get, generating some leads, right? Let's talk about generating some leads. So there's a couple of different things that you guys can do to get started. Okay. Um, you've either got in, in real estate, this is just the way it is, right? You've either got time or you've got money. One of the two, right? We know that. And whatever you've got more of is whatever you probably should focus on. Okay. So if you have uh, more money resources than time resources, maybe you want to allow KV Core to do the heavy lifting for you. If you've got more time on your hands versus money resources, maybe you want to do that yourself, okay? And I'm going to show you some ways to do that yourself. I'm also going to show you easy ways that you can do it through KV Core. So there's a couple of things that you can do here. Playbooks, you simply just click on a playbook and you can kind of follow through. It'll give you all these different listings, right? You choose the listing and then you just kind of follow 
through uh, the plan here. This one here is already sold. It might let me do it. It might not. Let's see what happens here. Okay, yeah, well, it says off market. That's okay. Um, so what you can do is it's going to give you all these different uh, different things in this playbook, so to speak, right? Um, that you're gonna that you're gonna be able to walk through. Now this one it's not gonna let me do it because it's off market. But what it would do is it basically you know find the matching buyers, then you go to the text code, the property boost. So you just kind of follow through. It's a series of let's help you get this home marketed really quick, and you're you're gonna pay us some money, right? That's pretty much what that means. Okay. Anything that you see over here in today's objectives, usually not always, but usually means that. KB Core is looking for a way for you to spend money with them, okay? Um, there is some training over here. If you guys want to go through your own training, go right ahead, no problem. There's 600, over 600 videos on KB Core, okay? Now, here's the thing. I have condensed those down into about eight or 10, 10-minute 10 modules that anybody can understand, okay? And it's what I'm doing now kind of on crack, if you will, okay? So uh, we're going to, it's, it's diving deeper. That's the boot camp. We'll talk about that later. But that over here is your free training. If you want to just go through and do your own training, you can certainly go through that portal and do that, okay? Now, as far as generating leads goes, <clears throat> let's jump over here to all listings, okay? So when you come to the listings page, keep in mind, this is, gosh, I keep hitting this microphone. Sorry, I didn't mean to pop, pop pop a sound there. Um, but keep in mind, guys, this particular page um, has all listings on it, right? Remax, Keller Williams, Colwell Banker, Century 21, you name it. They're all there, okay? To keep you from getting in trouble with other brokerages, you will want to choose either my listings or EXP listings, okay? Your listings would be only your listings, the ones that you already have. EXP listings would be obviously listings listed by EXP. Now, check with your state broker again. In the state of North Carolina, we look at it as all listings are owned by the brokerage, not the broker, okay, uh, or the agent, right? So that means that all listings belong to EXP. So therefore, even if I don't have a listing right now, <clears throat> I can go in and pull someone's listing here on Meadow Trail, for example, Wild Meadow Trail, okay? And all I have to do in the state of North Carolina, now check your <laughs> check with your broker because some states have to have this in writing, okay? For me, I could just shoot this guy a quick text. Hey, Josh, man, you got a great looking property coming up on the Wild Meadow Trail in Charlotte. Listen, man, we're both with EXP and I don't have any listings. I just wanted to give you a heads up. I'm going to be marketing that property. That's it. That's all I've got to do in North Carolina. You may have to get writing written permission in your state. Check with your broker, okay? So um, having said that, now how am I going to market this particular listing that I don't necessarily own, that I, I'm not the listing agent for? Well, there's a few different things that I can do. I can go over here and boost the property, right? That's the easiest thing to do. Again, this is if you have more money resources versus time resources, okay? So now I'm going to be able to go over here and I'm going to be able to pay KV Core whatever I want to pay them, right? And they'll market it. Now, there's a life cycle right here for 250 bucks, and that'll do listing, open house, price reduced, sold, all that stuff for you, right? So it kind of takes it through the whole, the whole cycle. But right now, I could do this, have it running tomorrow and generating leads tomorrow. Some people like doing this. It's called Property Boost. It's not that expensive. It's about 60 bucks a week or so. But it's certainly something you can do if you have more money resources than you do time resources, okay? Now, the <clears throat> other thing that you can do, <clears throat> excuse me, is go down here to more actions, okay? And you can email this as a hashtag. You can send it as an email to your clients. You can text it as a hashtag. You can generate a QR code. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do here. But one of the things that you can do on your own is post to Facebook. Now, if I click on this, it's going to open up my Facebook OK, it's going to open and it's going to put a, a, a window here. Oh, well, let's see. There it is right there. OK. And so now <clears throat> all I do is put in a little bit of information about the house. One thing I will tell you guys, less is more. Let me repeat that again. Less is more. Your goal is to get them to click on a link. OK, that's what you want them to do. 
So if you give them the price, you give them the address, you give them all the information in the description, they've got no reason whatsoever to click that link and to join you in your database, okay, to sign up for your database. So the one thing you want to make sure that you're doing is putting a little bit of information out there, but not too much information, okay? Now, once I do that, <clears throat> I may say something like, you know, um, you know, looking, oh, looking for a great home in Charlotte, North Carolina, right? You are going to love this, one, right? And then I'm just going to go ahead and share that. And it's going to go on my business page. It will not go on your personal page. It will go on your business page. So you need to make sure that you have a Facebook business page, number one, okay? Um, and then number two, um, be careful what you're posting on your personal page, just so you know. Um, the rule of thumb is for every five posts, um, three of those need to be personal, meaning not business related, on your personal page, on your profile on Facebook, okay? If you don't, they'll start um, like shadow banning you, okay? Um, <clears throat> to where you're not showing up uh, as frequently. And so you'll notice, oh my gosh, I didn't get any likes on this. I didn't get any comments on this. Well, that's because you probably posted too much about your business and they throttled you back because you're not posting on your business page. That's why this opens up to your business page. But you can certainly do that. And then you can boost the post and we'll get into that here momentarily about how that works and everything like that. <clears throat> so that's one thing that you can do. The other thing is you can post to Twitter or X now, right? Pinterest as well. Or Craigslist. Now, this does require an extension. Okay, it's going to pop up and say you need to open up a Chrome extension, right? So you'd go to your Chrome store and you would open up the Chrome extension, which I did, but it keeps kicking me out for some reason. So I have to keep going back and doing it. But you would add that to your Chrome extensions and then you just simply click it one time. It would go through the process. It would put in your smart number because Craigslist does not allow links, okay? Put in your smart number with a short text code for them text to get more information. Again, if you're using the wrong smart number, here you've got a problem. You're generating leads for someone else, okay? That's one way that you can utilize other people's listings. There's many other ways that we go over, you know, in the boot camp. I don't have time to get into all of that right now, but that's just one way that you can utilize to start generating leads today with other people's listings. Any questions before we move on to the next uh lead generation activity. Shannon, there, there's quite a few in the chat. I don't know whether that's throwing let's you see. off, but just questions along the way. I don't know if those can be addressed. Uh, let's see here. Um, I have ADD really bad, so I have to stay focused and then I can look at the question, <laughs> right? Um, Why don't we just I'm, keep going and then we can open it up for questions towards the end so you can just works. keep your flow. Okay. That works. Cool. Perfect. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. <laughs> some people like it that way. Some people want to answer them as we go. So that's why I didn't know. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here, jump down a couple of slots here. We're going to go past all marketing and we're going to go to this little engine right here. Now, if you want to read what it says, simply just click that and it'll tell you right here, lead engine. Okay. So now I'm going to click all lead engine tools. And these are different ways that you can market um, your, you know, market to your, your sphere or your social media or whatever. Now, there is a bulk lead import over here. If you've got leads that you want to import from another CRM, you can certainly do that. Um, lead Dropbox is basically like if you get Zillow leads or something like that, right? That's how you would uh, do an API for them to come directly into uh, your uh, into your uh, database, right? Um, and then, of course, you know, <clears throat> there's, you know, there's the open house app, things of that nature, okay? So down here, core property boost, we already talked about right? Get more leads. That's obviously paying them to get more leads, right? Um, lead Dropbox, we talked about bulk import. We talked about hosting a virtual open house. That was big during uh, 2020, you know, during that time. We'll just call it that time because that's, uh, don't get me started on that. Anyway, but, you know, that was how people were doing open houses then. Okay. Most people are back to doing normal open houses now. So that's really not a big, uh, a big player anymore. Um, the pitch sheet is great if you're working FISBOs. I don't know about you guys, but I, that's how I really got started was doing FISBOs. Um, you know, I, I I listed and sold 37 for sale by owners in one year. 
Um, and the way that I did that <clears throat> was providing value to them, right? Um, you got to provide value to that particular seller. And so one of the best ways that you can do that is by giving them a pitch sheet, right? Um, they want to know how many buyers do you have in your office? How many active buyers do you have looking in my price range? How many are looking in my neighborhood, right? And so you can drill this down for them. And when you go meet them and, you know, preview their home, which is what I used to like to do, you can leave some stuff behind. One of the things to leave behind is a pitch sheet, right? And basically at the end of it, just say, hey, Mr. Seller, I know that you're, you're, you're doing this on your own. I totally understand that. But if you ever do look to do something with a real estate agent, these are some numbers that I've ran that we have particular buyers that might be interested in your property based upon our company, right? And that's a great way right there to go in and get that for sale by owner, okay? And it's simple. You just go in and just, you know, build out a listing, right? And then you put in their address, put in their information, their price range and things of that nature, and it'll build that out. And then you just simply print that out and take it to them, okay? So that is your pitch sheet. The one we're going to really talk about today, <clears throat> oh, there's call, call and text capture real quick. Call and text capture is great if and only if, so important, guys, if and only if you have your own smart number, okay? Do not try to use call and text capture without your own smart number. You will be literally throwing money out the window because the leads are not coming to you. They're going to round robin. OK, but you can go in and you can build you can go in and build out custom uh, campaign codes. Right. So you could say, you know, uh, you know, get a home value. Right. Find out what your home value is. Get your home value instantly here. Right. And then you, you know, get little business cards and you leave them laying everywhere and stuff like that. Get your home value. Right. So there's little things that you can do there. We kind of go into that in depth uh, in the boot camp. But that's 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 only if you have your own smart number. OK, very, very important there. Now, there are two things here that I want to talk about. One is a landing page. One is a squeeze page. I want to open up real quick and I want uh, uh, people to tell me, do you know the, who here knows the difference between a landing page and a squeeze page? Does anybody know the answer to that? And just type that in the chat there. Does anyone know the difference between a landing page and a squeeze page? Well, if they're used together, the landing page is... Uh, the content that gets them interested into it, into your uh, offering or whatever you want to call it. And the squeeze page actually collects all the information. Is that correct? Close. Very, very close. Very, very close. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, no, every, everybody's kind of dancing around it. Okay. So I want you guys to think about this. Okay. A landing page. I'm sure you guys have done this as real as real estate agents, right? We've all been to a page where we get there and there's nothing but the opportunity for us to put in our information. That's it, right? If we want to know any of this information here, we have to put in our email address, our phone number, and hit that see the list now. And we know that that's going to register us for whatever, right? We know that pretty much. Most people know that now, okay? So, a landing page is you land on it and you have nowhere else to go except for to put in your information to receive more information, okay? A squeeze page, I want you to think of a squeeze page like fishing, okay? I like to fish, so think, think, of, think of it as fishing. So when you throw the line out, right, do you immediately yank it in? No, you roll it in slowly and the fish get attracted to it, and then they see the bait, and then they bite down on it. And once they bite down on it, and you know they bit down on it, then you reel it in. It's the same thing with a squeeze page, okay? So a squeeze page is going to send them to a page that is going to provide some information. So let's say, for instance, that, that listing I just showed you, right? It's going to provide pictures and information about that particular listing. They like that. Oh, that was cool. Ooh, that I like that. Then they're going to X out of that one. And ooh, here's another one, right? Oh, gosh, there's another one, right? So now they're going to look at that one. 
oh gosh, I really like that. And then they're going to exit. Oh, there's another one. Well, guess what? The other one that they click on, if you've got it set up correctly, is going to reel them in, right? Now they've got to sign up. So both of them collect information. They collect lead information. But I like a squeeze page a lot better because a squeeze page gives them a little something, right? It makes them, makes them want more, makes them hungry, right? They get hungry, okay? Uh, or thirsty, right? Um, and so if you start thinking about it that way, that's the difference between a landing page and a squeeze page. So the landing pages, I'm going to be honest with you, they're not the greatest, okay? They are being revamped. They are in the process of being revamped right now from inside real estate. Um, I'm on that team, as a matter of fact, that is working on that. Um, however, I will say that they are lackluster to say it nicely, okay? They're not the greatest way to generate leads. And I know this, and I'm not sitting here telling you anything that I have not told Joe, who is the CEO of Inside Real Estate, to his face, okay? That's why we're working on new ones. There, you can you can certainly you know change the generation type, right? You can add a video. None of this though is real appealing, right? It's just, I mean, it's just it just is what it is, right? You can change the background. Again, it's not converting at a high level. I've done A/B testing on these, and I can tell you right now, squeeze pages convert at a much, much, much higher level. Okay, so that's where we're going to spend most of our time today talking about squeeze pages. All right, you select your domain, domain, you start building, okay? Now, there's four different types of squeeze pages here, okay? The market report is a good feature. I like what it gives you as far as the information goes. I don't like the photo it uses, and you cannot change the photo. The photo looks like a home from, from New England, right? Like Maine and, you know, Connecticut and places like that. I live in North Carolina. No home looks like that here, right? So I don't utilize that one. If you're in that area, maybe you want to use it, right? It's a great, great, great opportunity. But for me personally, it doesn't work, okay? Um, so I rarely use the market report, even though I like the information that it gives. People don't click on it because it does not look like a property that is local to here, okay? There is the seller squeeze. Seller squeeze is good. Again, it's got a picture of a house with a question mark behind it, right? Um not the greatest picture in the world. You cannot change the picture at this moment. A lot of these things are being changed. We're revamping a lot of things. That's one of the things we're we're doing is changing it to where you can be able to hopefully change out these photos and, and make it a little bit more custom, make it a little bit more your own, okay? Um, but what you're going to do basically is you're just going to go in, put in your source. Your source means where is it being advertised? Is it being advertised on Facebook, Google, Instagram, LinkedIn? Where is it being advertised, right? Now, for me personally, I call SM, social media, because I just kind of put it all in, under one umbrella. But some people want to separate it. Some people want to say, you know what, I'm running this ad for Facebook. I'm running this ad for LinkedIn, right? Some people are really, you know, nerdy number people, right? I'm not a nerdy number person. I'm just not. And so that's, you know, that depends on your personality, right? I'm a high I. Some of those people would be a high C that would do that, and they would definitely want to do that, okay? Um, but by all means, you know, you do whatever you do, you boo, right? <laughs> so whatever works for you, right? Now on the hashtags, you want to hashtag people based upon whatever they are. So for instance, this is a seller squeeze, right? So we were going to, we would hashtag them seller, right? We might hashtag them home value. Um, it has to be all together, lowercase, right? Can't be two separate words. Um, but you put in the hashtag, and then that's an easy way to find them in the smart CRM, which we're not even going to have time to get into in depth today. But again, all this is in the boot camp. Uh, put in your location, hit your links, and let your links po uh, populate. Then you take those over to your Facebook business page. You can also put them on your profile page if you want to, but be careful. Just don't do it too much. Put them on your uh, business page. And then, uh, you know, you can start generating leads that way. You can also boost those leads. So we'll talk about that here in just a second. Single property is for one property only, okay? So it's going to take you to that particular listing. You put in the, uh, the MLS ID number or the address, and it's going to take you only to that listing. Then there's multi-property. This is probably the one that you're going to use the most. Um, this is going to be the one that's going to generate the most amount of leads, mostly buyer leads, but it's going to generate the most amount of leads um, because what you're doing is it's very generic. It's not just one single property. It's not a seller squeeze. 
But what you're going to do, let me let me make one out here. We're going to make one right now for, um, let's make one for Marion, North Carolina. That's the area that I'm in. So Marion, North Carolina. Listing type, coming soon and single family. Okay. Those are the two that I choose. You can choose whatever you want to. Some people will have more or less here, depending upon your MLS, what information they share. Now, as far as price range and all this stuff, I leave all this open. You're welcome to put all that stuff in there if you want to. I found that it works better if you don't. Um, but the options, this is where am I going to land? Where's this person going to land whenever they hit my squeeze page, right? So, you know, you can do multiples. You can do just listed open houses. You can do new build just listed or new builds with a pool or whatever. There's all these different options here that you can scroll through, okay? But let's just, for time's sake today, let's just use just listed, okay? Now, we're going to go up here again. Remember that source? I'm going to put SM because I'm not that geeky, nerdy guy, right? So we're going to put SM here. Now, hashtags, um, I'm going to mirror what's over here. So I'm going to put Marion, okay, because that's important, okay? And then I'm also going to put just listed because I want to, again, mirror what is on this side. Okay, you don't have to worry about the coming soon single family, but just mirror those two. That way it's easy for you to find in your smart CRM. Now, under this Facebook cover photo, in North Carolina, I can use the one that says not compliant in all areas, okay, because we roll like that. You may not, your state may not. If not, you're going to have to choose one that is from your agency only, even if it's outside the search results. Now, what, what do I mean by that? Why does mine say not compliant in all areas? Because it is pulling the last listed property on the MLS. Does not matter if it's EXP, Remax, Keller Williams, does not matter. Here's the difference why we can do it. You're not advertising the price and you're not advertising the address. You're only advertising the photo as an example. They're going to click on it and it's going to take them to that particular page for them to start looking at properties, okay? Now, as far as your property views go, I would leave this at two if I were you. Um, you can make it one immediately. I don't like doing that because I don't know about you, but I hate logging onto a website and they won't let me see anything at all before they make me register. Mm -mm, no, that doesn't fly for me, right? Um, two or three are good. Anytime you get above five, now you're, now you're chancing it. And never, don't ever, ever, ever choose never. Bad idea. You'll never get any leads. Okay. So now we're going to generate that link. I like to use the short link. You can use the long link. It doesn't matter. I'm going to copy that, right? Now I'm going to jump over to that Facebook business page that we were just on. Okay. Oh, that's my personal page. Let me jump over to my Facebook business page. Okay. So my Facebook business page. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on what's on my mind here, and I may say something like looking for a great home in the Marion, North Carolina area. These beauties were just listed this week, right? And now I'm just going to paste that link in. Now what that's going to do is it's going to pull up it should pull up. Why did it not? Ah, okay. It's going to make me look like an idiot here. It's supposed to pull up a um, photo from that property, right? Let me let me grab the big link and see if it, if it likes the big link better today. Yep, there we go. It likes the big link better today. Okay. So just listed single family in Marion, North Carolina. It, if you notice, it doesn't have the price. It doesn't have any of that right? It just has just listed single family in Marion, North Carolina. That's it. So now what I want to do is I want to obviously get rid of this because it's ugly. Okay. Um, and then now I just simply post it. Now, once that's posted, here's where I can start generating leads for pennies on the dollar. Okay. So now what I can do is it's listed there. I can do a couple of different things. I can go over here and I can share this to groups, right? To uh, and I tell people this all the time, join as many yard sales, swap and shop, trade sale groups as you possibly can. The reason for it is because you can share to those particular groups 
with the share button, right? So you could share it directly to them. And you don't want to overdo it because if you overdo it, you know, they're going to get you for spamming and all this stuff, right? But join larger groups. Don't join smaller groups. Join larger groups. And then every once in a while, just sprinkle those in, okay? So you can do that. That's one way to do it. And you don't have to pay anything at all. The other thing you can do is you can boost the post, okay? And by boosting the post, then you're going to go in here. Oh, image not found. Oh, this is crazy. I, so I still have an issue here. Uh, someone stole a bunch of credit cards, went into my, <laughs> went into my uh, uh, Facebook account and charged over $10,000 worth of advertising. And so now it's being litigated because I had nothing to do with it and it's a mess. So that's why it's telling me my payment method <laughs> needs to be updated because they're saying I owe $10,000 and I'm not about to put that in there because um, I didn't do it. <laughs> so anyway, needless to say, um, Advantage Creative here, leave that leave that checked on under your buttons here. I always like to say learn more now. It should be bringing up an image here. I don't know why it's not, but it should bring up an image over here. Um, learn more. Now you can put you can do different ones, but learn more is the best. Okay, so that's the one I would choose. All right. Now, button destination, where do I want them to go? I want them to go to a website, right? So I make sure I click website, okay? Special ad category. If you don't do this, you're going to literally um, get in trouble for fair housing, okay? So you have to click on that and then click housing. There's the photo, all right? Okay, so once I did that, now it says housing. Maybe that's it. Maybe they've locked it down now to where if I turn it off, that it'll, it'll go away. So you have to put housing in there for fair housing. Then you choose your destination. Where do you want it to be, right? So I want this one. I can't change the gender. I can't change the age anymore, but I can change the location. So I'm going to put Marion, North Carolina, right? And so Marion, North Carolina. And so now I'm going to go in here. It's going to give me my audience and I'm going to save that audience. Okay. So now it's going out to Marion, North Carolina plus 15 mile radius. Then I simply choose how long I want it to run, how much I want to spend, right? Put in my information, which don't get me started on that and then let it run the ad, okay? And and then you can start collecting uh, money from that, collecting leads from that, which is essentially collecting money, right? Um, but one thing that I want to explain to you is it's going to come up with this, it's going to come up with a high number usually here. Not always, but sometimes it will. <clears throat> you can run as low as a dollar a day, okay? It's going to say you may not get as many results, but you can bring it down and make that seven dollars if you wanted to okay so that's one way you can do it and run it at a dollar a day obviously the more you run it the better it's going to work okay the the more leads that you're going to that you're going to generate okay there's one more thing i want to go over with you guys today we don't have a lot of time to get into you know into uh mass reaching out to people or how to we haven't even gotten into uh you know people's profile right for example uh, there's a ton of stuff in the profile as far as following up and lead conversion and things of that nature um, to talk about. But the one thing I do want to show you guys is the AI. Okay. So we now have AI built into KB Core. Okay. So um, what we can do now is we can, uh, this person's unsubscribed for text, but for email, I can click on send email. Okay. And I can click use smart assistant here. All right. And you can see here, these are already created. Property needs, follow-up message, custom prompts, check-in, schedule a call, pre, pre-approval, right? So basically, if I want to send an email to this person, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask Chat GPT for an email about pre-approval, and it automatically does it for me. Same thing with text messaging, okay? Um, and they have like LP Mama scripts and things of that nature as well. So. These are all different things that, that ChatGPT is doing inside. Also, if you click on call, for example, okay, um, then I can use smart assistant script down here at the bottom. Okay, and here's my scripts, right? The LP Mama script, the custom prompt, the follow-up, welcome script, check-in, property needs. Now, that's, that's available in your KB Core right now as we speak. I've had this probably for a year now. Um, you guys just got it maybe a month or so ago. Um, but what is coming is going to be insane. Um, we are working on that AI actually understanding what, so let's say we we set up the campaign. One of the things we do in our KB Core Bootcamp is we set up customized uh, 
uh, uh, semi-custom uh, buyer and seller campaigns. That's one of the things that we do in the in the boot camp. And um, if we do that, it's going to ask questions via email or text message or whatever to this particular lead. When that lead responds to that, we're the ones that have to go in and respond back to them, right? We are working on, don't know when it's going to be released, but we are currently working on with AI and chat GPT to where it understands what that person is saying in that message, whether it's a, a, a text message or an email or whatever. It gives us a window to respond if we don't respond within a certain time frame. And then what it does is it's going to um, automatically draw up a response from us and message that particular client back on our behalf because we did not respond. Okay. The other thing that it's going to do is let's say that person wants, you know, hey, maybe she says, Shannon, look, you know, I, I, I've gotten approved for more and I can go higher than $300,000. Then the system is going to be able to look at that and say, okay, let's move her from 100 to 300,000 to now 300 to 500,000. And it's going to set up a whole new alert for her. Okay. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. There's a ton of different stuff we can go over here. Um, you know, there's market reports and things like that, right? <clears throat> we don't have time to get into all that. The listing valuation, the core presentations, none of that. Um, but all that is in our KV Core Bootcamp. Um, so if I can touch on that real quick, and then we'll take some uh, take some calls, <clears throat> take some messages. Uh, on my KV Core Bootcamp, if you guys go to kvcorebootcamp.com, kvcorebootcamp.com, um, I break everything down for you, completely break it down for you um, and make it, you know, literally where, you know, what I was explaining about, uh, you know, K, about, uh, uh, you know, all the KV course stuff. This is all in much more in depth. OK, uh, the program started ninety seven dollars one time fee. OK, and they go up to three hundred and forty seven dollars. And that's if you want two 30 minute one on one sessions with me. We've got a lot of stuff that we offer in there. We customize your website. We give you the videos, which are basically KV Core for dummies, if you will. Um, we make sure that everything's linked and that the AI is working properly. We set up your buyer and your seller uh, semi-custom campaigns. Um, we even have packages where we do the squeeze pages for you. We build the squeeze pages for you, right? We build a customized email signature, customized Facebook page, uh, a business page, uh, not page. We don't build the page. We build the uh, graphic for it, right? The the cover photo. Um, I did win the number one listing presentation in 2019 of all of EXP. Um, I give you that in a bonus if you sign up for tier two or tier three. Um, and it shows you how to build it and make it your own and all that good stuff. So um, we've helped over 5,000 people one-on-one -on -one, um, with this. And I've consulted probably over 100,000 people now on KV Core. So, um, so I definitely know what I'm talking about. It's not, you know, I'm, I'm not sitting here just, you know, I didn't self, I wasn't self-taught, by the way, just so you guys know. Um, I was actually taught by the developers of the system back when it was conversion before it became KV Core. Okay. So, all right. Uh, let's open up for a few questions here. What do we got? Awesome. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, who has some questions? You guys were putting a couple in the chat along the way. So, um if you still have that question uh, or any other questions, jump Shannon. off mute. Thank you, Shannon, uh, for uh, yes. Yes. the Freedom Team. This is amazing. Um, so there were some questions. So we can only do EXP listings, right? And also, I was looking at my um, dashboard and I don't see EXP listing. Uh, it's under MLS listing and then change it to agency, but it still didn't go over. But it, it, didn't, it didn't come up. Okay, so um, that would be, uh, that's what that comes down to is is how your MLS plays with KV Core, so to speak, right? How much information they're sharing. <clears throat> so what I would do is I would reach out to KV Core support. So when you log into your dashboard, there's a little blue button down there and just let them know that you're having that issue and they should be able to get that taken care of for you. And then the question about your smart number, is that the same thing or is how different is that from the Google voice? Because if we have a Google profile, we're using a Google voice on there. Is Can we do that or should we um, use a start, smart number for the Google profile? I would just profile? use the smart number personally if I were you, because here's the thing, you're going to you're gonna be able to use your own. If you want to use your own number, you can, but they're going to charge you a premium 
of using your own number. So they're going to charge you a large upfront cost, and then they're going to charge you per month of using your own number. If you just go this route, you get 27 bucks a month and that's it. So use a Google, uh, use a smart number, even it's for cheaper. a Google profile. It's cheaper. it's cheaper. But if you, if you want to use your own number, you can certainly pay the premium and do it. But most people just get their own smart number. All right, great. Thank you. No problem. Okay, I've got a question about that. Uh, so smart numbers, um, do you use them in your advertising as well? Absolutely. So Paul, <clears throat> what I did was I used to use my cell number. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely hate at 11, 30, 12 o'clock, one o'clock in the morning, these leads who are half drunk, <laughs> right? Messaging me on my personal number. That's annoying to me, right? And it happened quite often. So what I did was I, when I purchased my smart number, I pulled my number off of everything. No one has my cell number unless you're an agent, okay? And now here, here's the caveat to that. I tell everybody, look, this is this is my office number. You can text me on this number from these hours to these hours, whatever, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I can set it up to where I want it to do that. So then what I tell people is this, when I meet with them and they sign an agreement, if they sign a buyer agency agreement or a seller agency agreement, either one, now I say, okay, Paul, you and I are now working together. And I know I've been messaging you and you've been messaging me through the work number, but I just want to let you know I'm a little bit more available to you than I was before now because you've committed to me and I've committed to you, right? And I'm going to help you find your home or I'm going to help you sell your home. And so here is my personal cell phone number. Just please use it sparingly and make sure, you know, or be respectful, right? That kind of stuff, you know. Um, and then that way you're setting boundaries because guys, I can tell you right now, I've been in this business this year, this year marks 23 years for me, Okay. And I can tell you right now that people will take advantage of you if you make yourself available 24-7. They will absolutely do it. I'm not saying that you shouldn't make yourself available, but you know what? A doctor has boundaries. You're not going to reach your doctor after 5 o'clock in the afternoon, right? You're not going to reach your accountant after five or six o'clock in the afternoon or whatever it is, right? So you need to set those boundaries. And one of the best ways to do that is a smart number. Then again, but but smart numbers are not transferable. So, I mean, bottom line is, I mean, this is just devil's advocate. If you have all this marketing out there with a smart number and you switch away from KV Core, you're going to lose all that, right? It's just good. your smart number is going to go back in the sure. pool and well, you're gonna you're 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 not gonna okay. So it's not gonna go to another agent. It's not like 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 it's necessarily gonna go to another agent. But you are gonna have to go back and redo your marketing, obviously, because you would want your new number on on your marketing. But I'm all in for I'm all in for EXP. To be honest with you, I mean, I've been here seven years. I've got like 150 agents in my organization, and I'm making a nice little check every month from that. And sorry. You know, the next greatest, next, uh, you know, uh, whatever replica of EXP is not not getting my attention, just to be totally honest with you, right? Mm -hmm. So Shannon, Carrie said, do you offer a custom campaign for agent attraction in the boot camp? We do not, Carrie. That's something that we haven't done because here's the thing, if I can speak on this for just a second. Um, and, and Sean, you'll, you'll agree with me on this 100%, I believe is that guys, you do not want to put your agents on a campaign. Okay, now now hear me out for a second. Campaigns, for the most part, are a lot of fluff. Okay, they really are, right? And as agents, we get bombarded, right? With junk mail and junk text messages all day long. And I, I can look at one right now and tell you, you know what, they're trying to recruit me. I just know, right? So you want to be authentic. So the only campaign that you should really ever set up in KV Core, in my opinion, is set up just a, a notification to reach out to that person every seven days. It's real easy to do. We show you how to do that in the boot camp, I, but it's simple to do. And you just go in and you set up a notification to, notif to, to remind you to reach out to that agent every seven or 14 or 21 or 30 days or whatever it is you've set up, right? And be authentic. Authentic when you reach out to that particular person. Don't 
try to put them on a generic canned campaign because they're going to see through your crap. Just my opinion. Yep. Uh, hey, Rick, if you wouldn't mind coming off mute. I know you said you were like a seven on using KV Core. What's been your, um, do you use it for lead generating? Um, give a 30 second testimony on kind of what KV Core has done for you and your business. I'd like to say that I use it uh, more effectively, but I get lazy with it. <laughs> but um, I've done I've done landing pages. I've done the squeeze pages. I've even taken landing pages. I specialize in divorce listings, so I put together a video and a book that I wrote. So in the video, I create the landing page with the video, and then the link takes them to my book. So anybody that's looking to sell a house during divorce, um, I've had five hundred and forty two hits on that. So it's been pretty effective. And then I did another one on a two one buy down. Um, that was very effective. So yeah, I mean, just guys use the tools. It's really not that hard. Hundred percent. And 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 he hit on something very important that I didn't get, even get time to go into today, which is core video. Right? It is a part of Bomb Bomb. Okay. Um, anybody that's ever had Bomb Bomb knows they used to charge through the nose. I mean, I paid like fifteen hundred bucks a year or something like that to have Bomb Bomb. Right? It's thirty bucks a month, but you get unlimited sins. And what he's talking about is you can actually go in and build out a video and put it in your campaign to where it automatically goes out as an email or as a text message or whatever that may be. Um, and so they're getting to know you even though they don't know you necessarily, right? Um, and I can tell you right now, I've converted more people using video than I've done anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay, video is just... It's 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 where it's at. People keep saying it over and over again, you know, but it really is where it's at. Because what happens is when you walk into that seller's home, that seller goes, man, I don't know you, but man, I feel like I know you. I feel like I've known you all my life. Right. Because you're constantly communicating to, to them in video. Do the same thing with agents that you're looking to attract. Right. If you don't get them, do a quick video and say, you know, hey, Sean, man, sorry I missed you today, buddy, but, uh, oh, man, it's beautiful out here at the lake today, blah, 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 right? Wish you were here, whatever. You know, let's go have a beer, whatever it might be, right? That that kind of stuff is what's going to get you. It's not going to be the campaign of, have you thought about changing brokerages? Well, no, delete, <laughs> right? I mean, it, it's it's all about, you know, being real with your people, right? People want authenticity. Right now with, with AI, the way that it is controlling so much, people want authentic relationships. People want to connect with people, okay? And so the more you can do that, the better. And Rick, hats off to you, brother, because what you're doing with the video, that's what it takes right there. And a couple of, um, well, probably three or four months ago, um, many of you guys came to Aaron Ken's uh, pre-listing class or his listing class uh, he did two parts and he has a whole campaign that he does before he ever goes in and one of those is included with video and I think he's using KV Core for that and so go back and watch that class that Aaron Ken did and he'll show you exactly how he's using his video for his pre-listing uh, meetings before he ever walks in and meets the seller. And to Shannon's point, they already feel like they know him when he gets into the door. Um, so can on KV Core, can you, when you do video, can you, you can send it via text as well too, right? Yes. Yes. So once you, once you sign text up with uh, Core Video, once you sign up with Core Video, you, you, you can, you can uh, uh, download their app and do it either way. And um, so in your, in your, uh, boot camp. Do you talk? Do you teach on uh, the core video as well? Yes. Part yes. of it. We 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 literally dive into every aspect of KV Core. By the time you're done, there's nothing you won't know. We even talk about some ancillary products that you can do outside of KV Core that work together nicely with KV Core to help you generate more seller leads as well. Um, so there's some really really great material in there, guys. Um, I mean, literally, the people at KV Core. The, the, the uh, owners and the CEOs and all that stuff have told me that people prefer my videos over their videos. Um, so, you know, so I, I, 
that says a lot to me at least. <laughs> um, guys, I hate to it is at twelve fifteen. I've got a hard stop. I've got another meeting. Well, we're um, gonna we are gonna wrap it up. And so, guys, um, you got I, I know you guys got value out of this. I mean, that was so packed with such great content, Shannon. Thank you so much. Um, guys, go pay ninety seven dollars or one ninety seven. I mean, it's like the smart number for $27 a month, like we was talking about, you know, if you want, if you're not generating the business you want to, and you want to learn KV core better, like $97 is, is a no brainer. I'd encourage you to do the 197. If you don't have your page set up, let him get that going for you. Um, and so, um, again, thank you, Shannon, so much, uh, for all your knowledge today. It was really, really good. Awesome. Thank you. I saw this question a couple of times real quick. I just want to address this. It okay. says, when is your next boot camp? So the, the boot camp is is a is a DIY, right? It's kind of a do-it-yourself, kind of go at your own pace. So um it's not actually a physical boot camp, so to speak, at that moment. Um, you can do it on your own timetable. Um, if you send, if you sign up for the larger package, obviously that's coaching with me. So it has two two coaching calls with me. And so those are you know, one on one, but other than that, that's all. And that is the larger one, the one ninety seven, or the third the one. Three, the three forty seven. That's the three forty seven. Okay. But that includes two thirty minute sessions directly with me. So you're going to go through everything. We're going to get everything set up for you, and then we're going to meet face to face on Zoom, and I'm going to dive into your system and break it down for you even further. All righty. So kvcorebootcamp.com is where yes. you can go see the three different options. Um, and again, Shannon, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. All right, thank everybody. We'll be back next uh, next week, and we're going to be talking about uh, Facebook groups. And so um, we'll see you back same place next week. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. -bye. Bye,